Whether he first caught your eye with his supporting role on Hotel Del Luna or you fell in love with him as the star of 18 again, one thing's for sure, Edo Yan's star power is definitely on the rise. His delicate emotional acting made a good impression on viewers. No matter what role he steps into, there's no doubt the handsome actor demands your attention at all times. Here are 10 things you have to know about Edo Yan. He's been playing basketball since he was young. He shared that he's actually quite the basketball player. He played the sport when he was young and was a point guard for his high school team. Unfortunately, he eventually dropped basketball after his father was against him pursuing the sport any longer. If my father hadn't been against it, I think I would have continued in sports. He once failed his college admissions exams. He started attending an acting academy in high school, but because of his ego, I'm good looking and good at acting, he failed his admissions exams. He said to W Korea, I didn't feel intimidated, I was conceited. I went to the admission exams with that confident attitude, but I failed them all. I came to my senses while I was studying to try again the next year. I think I gradually learned how to be humble then. He was eventually admitted to Jungong University's drama department. His father against him to become an actor. In an interview for GQ Korea, he shared that his parents had been against him choosing to be an actor at first. He said, starting in my second year of high school, I went to acting school behind my father's back. But I had to persuade my father if I wanted to pursue acting in university. Through the help of my acting tutor, I was cast in a play. I invited my mom, who knew all about it, and my dad, who didn't know. There was a poster with my face on it for the play in the subway stairs on the way to the theater. My father came to see the play and was shocked to see his son's face on the street. After showing him my plays, I got his permission to be an actor. He's a dedicated son and brother. In light of his growing popularity, he past confession of his difficult family circumstances has resurfaced in online communities. It's clear that family comes first for him. In an interview with Esquire Korea in 2019, he revealed that his younger brother has a developmental disability. Dong Yag has a developmental disability. It's not apparent at first, but if you talk with him for about 10 minutes you can tell. He lacks social skills, and his intelligence is about that of a middle schooler. He's overweight, and so people look down on him a lot. So a lot of times I've had to go and tell people that I'm his older brother, not to bully him. But I also find a lot of inspiration from Dong Yag for my acting. He also shared that he wishes to pay off all of his family's debt. I mean, I'm not sure if it's possible, but it's just my goal. So I hope that my mother, father, and Dong Yag can rest at home, and we can all live off of my earnings. I think that will give me peace of mind when I enlist too. His big break. He quickly found his breakout role just two years into his career. In 2019, he got his big break when he starred in the top-rating supernatural drama, Hotel Del Luna. The actor charmed viewers as a dashing royal guard captain and IU's past lover. Due to the recognition he got from the series, he considers the role to be his most prized role so far. He explained, so many people loved the character, and I also really liked the character as well, and it was really hard while playing the character, including speaking in the sagu tone. His career is looking mighty bright because he's confirmed to star in the new romance drama, Youth of May, which is set to air in the spring of 2021. His relationship with IU. Even after their drama wrapped up, the two Hotel Del Luna co-stars still support their individual projects. He reportedly sent a food truck on the set of IU's movie, while IU did the same thing for him on the set of Sweet Home. Because of this, he posted a photo on social media with a funny caption the firefly has reincarnated. Thank you, Nuna. The shared photos show E smiling brightly in front of a coffee truck with a banner that reads, I'm cheering you on, actor E Do Yun and director E Yoon Ho. Cheers to sweet home. She even referenced to E's character in Hotel Del Luna by adding, Firefly, have you found your sweet home? Because he tends to stay in character, it must be hard for him to fall out of a role, especially his role in Hotel Del Luna. He said, I kept thinking about it even after it was over, and there were lines that I couldn't forget. It wasn't easy. I still call IU Nuna Manuel, and she's saved as Manuel in my contacts. Strangely, it's more comfortable. While filming 18 again, he was worried that he didn't look like Yoon Sang Yeon. He's successful stint in Hotel Del Luna earned him his first ever lead role just a year later. He top billed the 2020 fantasy coming of age drama 18 again. The series is a Korean TV adaptation of the Hollywood film 17 again. 
The show centers on 37-year-old washed-up basketball star who gets a second chance of life after he magically returns to his 18-year-old self, as played by Lee Do Young. In an interview in Pictorial for Star One magazine, he shared that filming his first leading role drama 18 again made him reflect on his own relationship with his father and had even inspired him to be more vocal in expressing his love for his dad in real life. According to him, it's a drama capable of shattering certain stereotypes about father-son relationships. Describing what had stressed him out the most about his role, he revealed, "It was a drama that gave me a lot of pressure because I worried, what if I don't seem similar to Yoon Song Yeon?" I was extremely relieved that we got a positive response. Since it was my first leading role, I really worked hard on analyzing the script and character in my acting, so I take a lot of pride in the drama. He originally auditioned for the lead character on Sweet Home. If you watch the Netflix horror drama Sweet Home, we're sure you just couldn't get enough of him as the brilliant and rationally Yoon Yeog. Perfect as he was for the role, did you know that he originally auditioned for Song Kang's character Cha Yeon Soo? In an interview with SCMP, he revealed, "I initially vied for Cha Yeon Soo's character because I've always wanted to play a dual character. But as soon as I started reading my lines, director Lee Yoon Pog said that I'm better suited for Lee Yoon Yeog's part. I tried to show no emotions, but solely act with the expression in my eyes." He broke up with his girlfriend because of his method acting. He has confessed to being a method actor who stays in character throughout filming. This was especially true for his series Sweet Home, where he didn't speak much with the other actors on set. He even took his acting a step further when he ended up breaking up with his now ex-girlfriend. In an interview with Esquire Korea, he detailed the boo boo. The character I was playing was someone who lost the girl they love. So I told my girlfriend we should break up so I could play the role. I really don't know why I did that. I was about 21 or 22. Of course, my girlfriend didn't understand. She asked me if I was crazy. But at the time, acting came first for me. Anyway, after experiencing things like that, I think I've grown a lot. He's working towards a possible Hollywood career. He is currently training himself to speak English fluently. Why? Well, the actor hopes to one day break into Hollywood. In an interview, he said, "I try to use English when I'm around fluent English speakers. I've always dreamed of making inroads into Hollywood, and I'm curious about how foreign film sets look. I'll keep working hard to make it a reality."